Hey guys, back with more Mac. So this is another cool song, more seven chords. So uh, we're gonna start up here on the uh, eighth fret. We're gonna play an F minor seven. But first you're gonna hit the F note on the A string on the eighth fret. Then you're gonna pluck the D, G, and B together. And as you do that, you're gonna hammer on and pull off the G string with your pinky on the 10th fret. And then after you get that, we're going to slide down to the 3rd fret and we're going to play C minor 7. So you got an F minor 7. Okay, then we're going to play a C sharp major. Okay, you got your uh, pinky on the 4th fret A string, ring finger on the D string on the 3rd fret, index finger on the 1st fret on the G. So all together you get and Then we're going to go to this G sharp power chord and we're just going to pluck it and then we're going to drop your index finger down keep your ring and your pinky finger down on the 6th fret there and then just move the bass down from 4 to 3 does this every other time. And I spend another night. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. That's it. Um, you know, I saw an interview with him where he thought, he thought he was going to be the next Jack Johnson. Like he didn't think he was going to be a hip hop guy. Like freestyling is just something he kind of did in school to kind of impress his friends that he could always do. And he was like, yeah, I thought I was going to be the next Jack Johnson. And he was learning all his songs. And I guess that's why you see so many seventh chords in all his tunes, because if, anybody, if you've ever learned Jack Johnson songs, they're all seventh chords, major, minor, dominant seventh. And it really shows up in his playing. But uh, anyway, that's it. Have fun. Practice slow. And enjoy. Put on the record. Play along to it.